Hey YouTube, welcome back to Part Time Fab. So today I really hope we're going to wrap up this uh, stand build. Uh, if you've been following the series, you know we've already got the vice stand already finished and it's painted and I've been using it and it's working really well. I did, I made it a little bit too tall. So if you've seen, uh, seen maybe some video, uh, some, uh, some images, I just took the plate and put it on the underside when using that, uh, the drum much like this, this stand, uh, I just lowered it and it's working real well. But, uh, today I'm going to focus on getting this universal stand done. Uh, if you've been following, you know that, uh, this is the top piece. It's interchangeable. I've got uh, a bunch more pieces here to, to make and to go on that, that stand and uh, to add more, more versatility to this stand. Uh, I've got a big chunk of steel here that uh, I'm going to put on, be able to put on here and just use it as kind of a, an anvil-like utility out of it. Um, so that, that'll be a really good tool. Um, but uh, before I get started today, I have got to sweep this floor. It is horrible. And I, every time I step, I can see dust coming up. So where we've done a lot of work, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, metal in the floor, a lot of dust. So, uh, so let's get to it. You thought I was kidding about the mask. It's really dusty in here. But we're finally done and ready to get started. So let's get to it. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to do today is clean this up a little bit right here and paint. So the paint can be drying while we're working on the next the next part, I'm going to take the drum and take the bottom and cut a piece of plate go around the bottom because I'm, I'm worried about this uh, the drum not being heavy enough to hold this thing. As I've noticed a little bit with the vice stand, it's heavy, it's real heavy, but it does move a little bit. So I'm thinking about put some sand in it, or I, I had some communication with some talk to a viewer, I forget his name, but uh, I'll try and put it in the comments here, and um, he said that he has one similar to this, that he used quick creep, so I'm thinking I may go and seal this up, seal the bottom up, and mix up some quick creek and put it in the bottom. It's a really good idea. Uh, with the sand, you'd have to worry about, you know, it's unlikely that this is going to tip over, but if it were to tip over, sand would come spilling out. But if you got quick creek in the bottom of it, you don't have to worry about that. You know, along the lines with quick creek, if um, you don't want to put plate in the bottom, the quick creek's not going to come out. The plate would be to hold sand in, so... Hmm. Gives a lot of thought to that, because I'm not sure. I don't have quick creek today to be able to put in there, and that would take a long time to dry, but um, I do have a bag of sand already on hand. And uh, it would be 
awesome plate to be able to put in the bottom. May, uh, may end up going with sand anyway. But, um, let's get to it. Just on a note of safety, not that I'm the safest worker in the world or anything. I mean, I know you've seen a bunch of stuff around my shop that's not safe at all. But uh, on personal safety, wearing gloves, wearing a respirator, and eye protection, it 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 really will save you. And I'm not, I don't get, you know, no, I had to buy this, but it's a 3M brand. It does a really good job. Uh, I've actually cut these open before and looked on the inside. These things are full of crap when you, when you look inside there. It's, it's really amazing. And uh, these uh, safety goggles are also 3M. Highly recommend these. They've got a, a little gasket that touches all the way around your face. Yeah, they get some water on the lenses quite a bit and, and they, they're they a little hard to wear sometimes, but um, you know, I've been to the doctor before, been to the ER before with uh, metal in the eye and it's no fun when you're wearing a pair of regular safety glasses and a metal piece of metal hits your cheek and shoots under there. It's no fun at all. So I've started wearing these when I can find them and um, these really are good glasses. I really like them. Again, they fog up quite easily, but uh, I'd rather have foggy glasses than metal in my eyes. So, but uh, bare minimum, really is bare minimum.
So that's all for today's episode. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and encourage you to watch the previous episodes if you haven't already. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos.